Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How's everybody doing? We're on early. It's I good. am. I woke up just for you guys. You're the best. Thank I got, you. I don't really use Teams. <laughs> I, always, I always struggle with how I share my screen on this thing. So I'm going to try to do it now just before everybody gets on to. Oh, by the way, I couldn't open the link with the agenda and the materials yeah. for the meeting. Nothing, nothing happened. So yeah, I'm I, I, I had it on my calendar. I, I could when I tried to do it off the agenda, it didn't work either. So, OK, so I'm a little more clueless than usual. Sorry. No worries. So I don't know who, who's smart enough to tell me how I can share my screen because I can't seem to. Um... Someone um, who was just on was just sharing. I'm not sure if that was you or not, um, but I did see a different screen pulled up. There's a white me. box with an arrow. It says share. Yeah. Yeah, I got that right. part. I got that part, but when I go to then I go to window and and none of the windows I have are what I want to share, but what about screen? Do you see where it says screen right above window? Hold on. Uh, All right, I think I might have figured it out in one second. <clears throat> yeah, I see where it says screen, but it just brings up my background if I go to window. Do you have your document open, Phil, that you want to share? Yeah, okay. I do. So I, let me see. Let me try this. Let's see. Now you're just going to see my family, but. That's okay. Do you I see it? Do you see? Yeah, we yeah. do. Do you see my family, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 So I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm understanding that. Can you pull up your document now? There we go. We can hey. see that. All right. Well, so as weird as it is, it's got to be on my other monitor. I don't know why. I must have hit the wrong monitor, but whatever. Now I can see all of you and that. So how perfect is that? <laughs> Um, all right, so who are we waiting for? We'll wait another couple of minutes for Lorraine, I think is the only one who's not on. Did everybody have a good summer? Yes. Good. Angela, I want to make you smile, so I'm going to tell you that, look, you're smiling already. I figured out the numbers. <laughs> this is the 710th meeting, so. Thank you for giving me that information. I just never got around to kind of calculating from that date forward, so. Okay, cool. That's awesome. As we're waiting, I don't know if it's appropriate to share <clears throat> as we're being recorded, but I'm gonna share anyway. I was at the American Institute of Architects Women Leadership Conference uh, seminar yesterday. It was incredible. It was incredible. We we um everybody left a little different. People are doing it's it's amazing just to see women architects doing such incredible things that you just would not get a chance to interface with otherwise. So it was just so great. That's excellent. By the way, we're not being recorded yet. So oh okay, good. Yes, it, it actually um, surprisingly it is being recorded. I am just oh. helping with the minutes today and I don't have access any longer to record. So Jason Cohen did hop on and he needed to hop right off. So it is starting. 
Okay. Anyway, now everybody right, well, knows. <laughs> that's right. That's perfect. All right. Well, we're going to get started. Lauren should jump on soon. I hope so. Um, so this is. I'm actually the on. Oh, you can are. You guys, I didn't see you there. Can you, can you see me? Because I am on. Yep, I can see oh. you. Or at least can you hear me? <laughs> That's I more important. See, now I can see you and I can see you on here. Yeah. You, so. Okay. All right. Now. All right. So I'm going to call to order the 710th meeting of the Architectural <laughs> Licensing Board at 9:02 a.m. on September 15th, 2023. And um, before we start on the agenda, I am going to move. I don't know. Is Pam on? She had asked me to move up her stuff, so I'm going to move her up. But Let's start with um, reviewing the minutes of the 721 meeting. And I know that um, one correction is that Angela was on that meeting virtually, so she needs to be added to the attendees. Does anybody have any other comments on that meeting minutes? Um, Mr. Chair, it's Angela. Um, I just I feel like the um, in the past, our minutes have reflected much more detail about the discussions of the agenda items. So um, maybe we could refer back to those for an example going forward. OK. And I don't know, I mean, we seem to be jumping around about who's who's actually doing the minutes today. I know Jason did them last time, but I think so. And I see Jennifer's on. We seem to be bouncing around a bunch of people. So um, oh, there's actually a new board coordinator, um, Rochelle Heiberg. Um, she's been doing it for a little over a month now, okay. and I I'm just helping because um, I did it prior and she just can't make it today. OK, maybe she can reach out to me and her and I can have a conversation and we can kind of discuss that if she's going to be doing it going forward. Sure, yeah, I can let her know. All right. OK, um, so with that said, do I get a motion to approve the, the minutes of the July 21st, 2023 meeting? I'll move with the corrections. I so. second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Minutes pass. Um, the minutes of the can I get a motion to accept the minutes of the 728 special um, meeting of the ALB? Motion to approve. Okay. Second. Second. Any conversation? Corrections? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, Okay, we're going to jump to the investigation reports. I don't know. Is anybody on? I can't see everybody who's on here. Um, doesn't look like anybody from investigations is on. So, um, my other my other next thing on the list is Leslie O'Brien. I don't see that she's on either. Am I missing her? Because I know I was told she would definitely be on the meeting this morning. Maggie or anybody? Does anybody have any information on that? Uh, I don't. I can try sending her a message right now. Okay, because she was supposed to be at the last meeting. She wasn't there because it was a miscommunication. I confirmed twice that she'd be at the meeting this morning. Is that uh, sorry, Phil? Is that a different agenda item than the than the investigations report? I can't. Um, your agenda hasn't scrolled down yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at you guys, and I have it on another screen. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we were supposed to do Leslie O'Brien and then the investigations, but it doesn't appear that anybody's on regarding either one of those right now. Um, Pam, Pam had emailed me yesterday and asked me if we could move her up on the agenda, but she's not here. So um, we can look at the investigations report. Sure. It seems that, yeah, I mean, it seems, and maybe I'm missing something here, but it seems that a lot of the older items seem to have been closed because now the oldest item that's on there is from 2022 unless i'm misreading this but i was curious because sometimes the report does say things are closed and this under the g column status everything says open i know sometimes right. janita d would do like she would do a oh i'm gonna run out of battery she would do a quarterly report that was had more info versus this report so i just kind of wondered if this is a complete report or not I was wondering um, but the yeah same thing but yeah i noticed the same thing that like it looks great that um most of yeah. the older items apparently have been cleaned up 
Right, so I see Janita's on now. Janita, can you chime in on this? And um, we're wondering, are all the items that were older, have they now been closed or um, because um, everything that's on here is open and it's from 2022 forward? Um, I, I'm on my cell phone, so I do apologize because for whatever reason, my laptop is not letting me on the Teams. And um, isn't that opened column the date a claim was opened? Well, that's status. So the status says opened. Yeah. yeah. So it means it hasn't so been closed. The, yeah. So the date. I thought it, the I date can't. That opened is the date it was opened and closed yeah. is the date that it would be closed. And um, for the report that we have, that's all that I have. Yeah, I mean, so. these all seem like they're all open. I mean, um, yes. if you go to the column M here, they're all listed as open. But my yeah. curiosity is that we had a bunch that were much older than this that have been open for years. And I'm just curious, I wanna know that they've been closed versus they're just not on the report anymore. Um, like, did, was this report just run from 2022? And that's why we don't have the ones from 2018, 2019 that have been open for a long time. No, because I run your reports from the 1st of January of 2018 through the present. And Janita, you're just muted now. I'm sorry. Um, I am having technical tech problems this morning. Um, the legal department has been working on and addressing all of the older files, and that has been shown in every report. Um, so I am trying to get into my laptop right now. No, um, what you see is what showed up on the report, and I can always ask Cynthia to double check because I thought the last couple of 2018 files were had an action showing them as being closed for whatever the actions were in legal when we met in person the last time you had a meeting. I believe Cynthia's got her hand up. She's here. Yes. Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry, I believe you're on mute, but I'll go ahead and respond to um, that question. So there are a couple of. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was cases. on mute. Yeah. OK, there are a couple of um, open architecture cases dating back to 2018. Um, I think the current number is three. Um, one of them is scheduled for hearing for September 26, and then there were two remaining from one respondent. So those are currently being worked on. They're just still open. Right, so. I guess when we get these reports, we'd like those cases to be on here so we know they're open. Um, it just so happens that we were cognizant of the fact that there were some older cases, but they're not, they didn't show up on the report we got today. So we'd like the reports to include whatever cases are open so we know that. That would be me, Mr. Chairman, and normally I that is what shows up. So I will have to go back and look at the original report to because I did run it from 2018 through August 31st of 2023. So I'm not sure why they didn't show up this time. So I will double check that and make sure that the report is running properly. 
because for the whole time that I've done the architect board, that's the date that I've started with or even earlier in the past and come to the, come to the present. So I will double check in the report to find out why it didn't pick up those three cases that Cynthia Fernandez is referring to. Okay, that would be great. And there's there's a hearing on the 26th. I, I did not receive notification of that. We're not involved it's, in it. Oh, okay. Why it's are we not? It's not a hearing before. Well, because it's from, if you remember from the last meeting, they've taken the hearing away from us and it's being done by a hearing officer. Um, so it's kind of out of our hands right now. Right, okay. Are we still on a lawsuit? Personally, that OK, so. that did that all no, get that was the, I think that that was the whole federal case that got dismissed and Cynthia. Well, that was my understanding. Everyone. All right. right. Thank you yeah. on both accounts. Thank you. So you're OK. <laughs> you're safe for now, for now. <laughs> and my calendar works. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, all right, Cynthia, I appreciate that. So unless anybody else has any questions on this, um, I think Cynthia and Janita can stay on or you guys can get off whatever you want to do, but I'm good unless anybody else so has anything else. Are we just, we don't, do we need a corrected report for today's meeting or we just wait for the next meeting to have a fresh report for that? I'm okay either way. Um, yeah, I think we just got Janita. Um, if you want, I will rerun this one and provide it at your next meeting with the one I run for that meeting as well, if you want because I ha I don't know exactly what went wrong with the report, so I have to try and figure that out. Yeah, that's I mean, great. I think that's fine. And I think I'm gonna say the same thing we say every time is that we would like to get these close, these cases from 2018 closed. So now we're down to two of them, I guess, being that we'd be hearing on one of them. So um, it would be good to try to just see what we can do about pushing them forward. And I know, Janita, that's not in your court, but um, it would be good to move them forward. Okay. All right, thank you. You're quite welcome, um, thank you. So back to the agenda when I find it. Okay, all right, so I still don't see Leslie on. Um, so new business, we have three waivers applications. I don't know if you read through any of them. Um, let's see if I can put them up here. So the first one, <clears throat> Stephen Kendall, and Kendall. I mean, uh, you can read it. It just says simply that he's requested an, an extension to December of 23 um, based on medical hardship. There's no, there's no other information with it. So I don't know what everybody's opinion is on that. Thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm fine with it. Around Julia. I'm like, fine with it. You know, I don't want to pry into one's, you know, medical conditions. I just wonder if we should have a little something more. <laughs> right. So that was my thought. My thought was, and yeah. I don't know if we can do this, but maybe Jason, if you're on, if you can chime in or Maggie or Jennifer or somebody, but one of my thoughts was to say we would approve it with the condition that they submit some sort of medical document or some sort of information on what the condition was. So is this going to be, um, would this then be a public document? Because I can certainly understand their yeah, um, yeah. hesitancy. And so that's that's yeah. where I'm, I'm struggling. Yeah, I wouldn't well, say answer, we need to know the what the is, condition is. I, I, there, so if we look at the, the other two, I kind of wanted to do this one last, but if you look at the other two, there was more information just about why their work was disrupted, how their work was disrupted, like they couldn't work for certain whatever. But you wouldn't, we don't need to know. And with HIPAA and all that, I'm very respectful of people not knowing people's yeah. exact medical conditions. Yeah, just more information. Yeah. yeah, how much? Guess, how many? How many um, credits do you need? You know, just something a little more, just to help us to make a good right, decision. I think yeah, I think that's a good point. I mean, and Angela's right, and maybe I should have done this. I did them in the order they're listed there, but the other two do have more information and do say things about what they need to get done. Um, on the other hand, he, 
he's still going to do it. It's just we're giving him to December versus July versus April to do it. So right. I, I personally don't have a big problem with it. Um, it's only, and yeah. I don't know if we can make it conditional on anything. So Jason, he's, he's only asking for a few months. I don't. Right. Well, right, they so were maybe, supposed to be they were supposed to be completed by April. April. By April. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth has her hands up. I'm not sure who Elizabeth is. Yeah. Mr. Right, Chair. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you're on. You're muted. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry. I I, I uh, had to take a phone call. I thought I wasn't going to be up on the agenda for a little bit longer. I'm one of the people requesting an extension. So I don't know if I missed anything or if you need any comment from me. Oh, uh, I, we haven't gotten to you yet. Thank okay. you. Okay, I'll yeah. just sit back down. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> We are, we, we're gonna get you the third one on here, so we'll get to you soon, but thank you. Um, I know, so let's just bring this to a vote. Who's in favor of granting the waiver? I am. Okay, who's opposed? I'm, I'm in favor of granting with conditions. Okay. A receipt so, of more information, how many credits are left, just because then the next year you're gonna, you know, by April, 2024, you're gonna need to finish the next session right. group of uh credits so let's help them to be successful and you know accountability sometimes leads to success i agree okay can we I agree with julia until november and ask him to submit well i mean that's really hard because then you're asking him to finish in one month no no can we just ask him to submit the missing information yeah we're gonna you ask know, him to uh, submit the what he missing needs. information so yeah. rather than like make so. it conditional well, it'll be he gets the conditional just says once you submit the information, you can you get the extension. Right. So we don't oh, have okay. to. Right. right. Yeah. The extension's conditioned on us receiving the information. We'd right. like the information before the next meeting, just so we have it and we can, I can distribute it or Maggie can distribute it. So. Okay. All right. So who's in favor of um, conditionally approving this upon receipt of the information? Aye. 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 Okay, it's unanimous. Um, so then the next one is John Torello. And you can see, as Angela said, he did give us a lot more information. God bless him, he's 83 years old. Um, Aww. <laughs> right. So, any comments? I move, I move to I, accept this. Ex I this, second uh, that request. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 And then um, the third one is Elizabeth. I'm going to get to her. Elizabeth, who is, as you now know, on the call. Um, and she did, as you can see, you know, she submitted more information than we necessarily even need. Right. Um, yeah. We trust people about people passing away. Um, I know. also, I move that we accept this one. I'll second. second. Uh, Elizabeth, so oh. sorry for your loss. Sorry yes. for your loss, Absolutely. Elizabeth. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Passage unanimously. All right, Elizabeth. So you should be all set on that. You'll you'll hear, I guess, some official from the state on that on your application. Okay. But you. You're thank you for your consideration. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So. Okay. So back to the agenda. Following candidates have passed the ARE and are recommended by the Department for Licensure as architects in the state. Um, Ryan Dukey, Paul Marin, Peter Sikora, Allison Frick, and Eric O'Donnell. I think that's the list. Um, we just need to approve them. They've obviously passed the exam already. So, do we get a motion? I don't know if any of them or any of you. Yeah, one one of the. One of the Someone candidates is here. Is is Peter, so is, Peter, are you on? Yes, I'm here. So, so great. Um, I see. Uh, there's a there's a Ryan on as well. Right. Right. So yeah, let's, um, let's yeah, let's okay. Let's vote on it first. All right, so that okay. it's official. So, um, can I get a motion to approve these five applicants for I, licensure? I move. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Unanimous. Um, okay. okay. I'll just go in no particular order. Ryan, congratulations. If there's anything you want to say, feel free to. Uh, thank you. 
<laughs> You're welcome. Congratulations. We all know it's a long haul to get to where you got. So. And then Peter's, Peter. Peter's on. Yeah. I, I got to be honest. I don't think I can talk right now. I'm so. <laughs> happy. Congratulations. Well, congratulations. Ago, I decided I should become an architect. This is amazing. Oh, that's so nice. Much. That's very good. We're happy for you. So thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. And I'm going to give my my always speech. Please don't let this be your last meeting. Uh, Architectural <laughs> Licensing Board and CARB, they are part of your um, of what we do and they regulate us. They you know, there's others who want to be testing. We want to know what's going wrong, what's going right, how we can do better. So please don't let this be the last meeting. They're kind of boring, but it's good information to have. And it's um, and and you know, maybe you want to be on the licensing board or, you know, some younger professionals who want to be on the licensing board. You know, this all really, really matters. So I'm hoping that this meeting will not just be six or seven of us, but that architects will show up and show out and help us to make this industry better and bigger and wider. So that's my speech. Well, Thank you. Congratulations. I'm well excited for you and I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. So be loud about it. So others know that architecture is an amazing profession. Excellent. Thanks, and, you guys. Um, Bill, I'd just like to say I did look. I did look at these five candidates, and they have all had <laughs> um, not a super, some long road, some you know medium road, but they've all um, you know ha graduated from amazing programs, and you know put the time in and and did it right. So, congratulations Excellent. to everybody. Very well deserved. Great. Yeah, well, I you. see that Eric's on also. So, Eric, did you want to say anything? Congratulations, first of all. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Can everybody can everybody hear me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. I have I have some headphones on and they're not really the best, so I'm glad. Um yeah, thank you uh thank you all for the board for, you know, the time this morning and and taking this uh, you know, taking this through. Uh Angela, thank you very much for uh, you know, the the shout out of just the the long bumpy road that I know I can personally attest to. It's it's been a long time coming, but um there's been uh, there's been some very encouraging words from the board, so thank you all. And uh, this is just a very exciting day for me. So um, thanks again. Good luck. You're welcome. Congratulations. You're welcome. And good luck. Congratulations, Julia, everyone. Julia already gave you her speech, so. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on. This is really just for the record: applicants applications for licensure by waiver examination. I'm not going to read through them. Um, by and by NCARB endorsement. So there's a long list, is longer list than usual, even 71. And then um, applications for corporate practice. Um, again, just just for our information, but there's a pretty long list there. That's a very long list. Um, then review of application by somebody who's a foreign graduate. Maggie, did you have information on this that we wanted to talk about? So I have the person's application. Um, I know I sent you some of the information, but um, I I honestly wasn't sure what the process was for, for how that gets relayed. Um, if the board members would be looking to review the entire application with all the attachments included to make a decision. So. Angela, you, you correct me if I'm wrong, um, but my recollection was on these that somebody stepped down and did a review on them, right? I, I did do a foreign application review previously, right, so, yes. Um is that way is I was that your way of volunteering to do this one? Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. Um it, well it was really an enjoyable do we know what country they're from? Um I believe it was uh Egypt, maybe let me see. Um I asked because NCARB has been making headway with certain countries, but not others. Right. I, I'm happy to do it, Phil. It was very interesting. I would just say it was a very rewarding experience and very interesting. So um, if if you or Julia, it needs to be an architect that does it. If you or Julia are interested in diving into this, um, it, it was enjoyable. But I'm happy to do it if either of you are not interested or don't have the time. Julia, are you interested in doing it? It is. <laughs> it's not that much work, really. We've all done it. I haven't done a foreign one, but. Um, if yeah, if uh, I'll, um, I'm not going to take that on at, at this time. Okay. I would love to, okay. but. Angela, if you could do it, I really appreciate it. So. Yeah, yeah that would be great. The next one. 
All right, so Maggie, one, can you, we'll yeah, so Maggie, can you send all the information to Angela? Because then she'll do her, her review on it, then report to okay. us back at one of the next meetings, and then she'll step down from the voting and we'll vote on it. So. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, I just had a couple of other things. Um, Angela and I were at a meeting with AIA, past president's meeting, not that long ago, and a conversation came up about emeritus. And so, Angela, I did look into this. And to be emeritus in Connecticut, you pay $10, fill out the application, and then you're emeritus forever. So it's basically, there, there's not a lot of cost involved in it. It's a $10 fee. Um, so it's, it is pretty simple. And can you come back? Like, so say you're, you know, you're you sure you're back. retired, whatever, but then all of a sudden when you're yes. 90, you, you, you want to come back, you, you can. can. You can come back okay. and you have to do up to, you have to do continuing ed. You missed up to three years worth. So if you okay. didn't practice for five years, you have to do three years of continuing ed and then you have to pay whatever your back dues, I guess, are. Right. So, so, so there's some do, cost in coming back. Yeah. So I think that's helpful for Gina's on from AIA Connecticut. I think that's helpful year, for mem membership to know um, G that. Gina, are yeah. you on? You see her on? Yeah, yep, I see I'm, her. I'm here. Oh, oh yeah. there you go. I've been here from there the beginning. Are. I thought you were, and then I didn't see you. So anyway, so yeah. I, yeah, so I really looked it up because of the conversation we had the other night. So, um, and I'm happy to share it with you, whatever information you want, but it's pretty clear on the application. And then I could just send you the statute that says that you, what you have to do if you want to get reinstated. So. And they don't have to do any um, continuing education, correct? Once you're emeritus right. uh, licensed. Okay. Right. Only if you want to okay. come back and practice. Okay. That's correct. So um, the only other thing I had was Tom Lenardo called me the other day and um, was just curious about people's thoughts on two things. One, anything that that we thought that we wanted him to be talking to, you know, national about or bring to the region. And number two, what our thoughts were, you know, he's big on this consolidation regional mm -hmm. thing and um, so he's trying to just get people's opinions on where the boards, the various boards stand on in favor, not in favor, opinions of region one being consolidated or not being consolidated. So I don't need to have a long conversation about it. I'm just curious if anybody any thoughts on it. I have thoughts. Good. I, I am, I, can support consolidation as long as it's not going to artificially um, artificially um, make the DEI DEI numbers um, I don't know more make the numbers more diverse or or whatever. It it seemed that that was perhaps a lot a lot of the driver for the consolidation, um, and I think it can be done and still have a regional emphasis by doing the online regional meetings, um, such as the one coming up in November. Um, but I I just I'm somewhat concerned about doing it only to make the numbers look better. Right. I mean, personally, um, I, I like our region the way it is. I like us being small. Um, I think that we're small but powerful. I think our focus should be more keeping people involved in our region. And candidly, Connecticut is more involved than most of the states are. And I mean, we have more people that usually go to the meetings. We have more activity nationally. And I think our focus should be more on within the region, getting more people involved to do okay. things. Um, I, I like, I like, and I like the fact that because we're small, we can get together more often. We can, we do mm -hmm. communicate. We have more things in common. So I don't know what everybody's thoughts are, but. I, I generally. going to get solved today, but. Yeah, I generally agree with that. And I think what I dislike about consolidation is that it is for DEI purposes 
as I really see it, and I don't think it's going to achieve anything either. So um, I'm more inclined to not consolidate. And and then I, I I didn't like the process that they utilized by not coming to us first <laughs> to the um, the regions that were, they were considering consolidating. Um, you know, they really didn't uh, come to us first. It was it was done backwards. Right. Yeah. They came up with the answer that they wanted and then drove everything to fit that. Yeah. So, Angela, I can see your brain working. So go ahead. You're muted. Brain working now isn't speaker. Mike isn't. There you go. Talk. You look like you're unmuted. It shows her mic is being open, but um, yeah. I can't hear anything. I can't yeah. either, but her lips aren't moving, so. I think she's frozen. <clears throat> can you, uh, can you hear me can. now? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. My, yes. my computer just went completely blank. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, we can hear you now. Um, yeah. yeah, I. I think. If it was done for the purpose of DEI, that that's. I, I feel like it was um because regionalization is has always been out there, but I feel like they forced it to to be under the cover of DEI, and that's just not I don't see how that's gonna work. What was helping was this pipeline thing that you you know, for DEI, you don't have to go through the whole regional thing to get on the national board. So now that we have the two right at large positions that we voted in, mm -hmm. um I I think the the benefit of the of the local regions, the way we have it set up now, at least for us specifically in New England, is that tight knit communication and service to our members in our in our area. So I would say if there's regionalization, would we lose that? And if we lose that, is there some mechanism to still you know, serve serve our members in that way. Right. I just feel like there's two there's there's a lot of ramifications to changing the the regions. Is there a task force? Can we have somebody on that? You know, speaking about it or whatever. So right. I guess so, if, if, if I could um, ask a question, I thought I thought my impression was that the regionalization and the um, board representation were, what is it, not mutually exclusive or that they, right. they could be considered- Well, they, they are, they were, they are kind and of mutually so, exclusive. Yeah, so the board, leaving the board issue aside, um, again, I would support regionalization as long as its sole goal wasn't to produce better numbers. And I, I think that was probably the, the goal. But that said, I think it's possible through all the online stuff that we've learned since COVID to still have a strong New England um, council or representation or continue with the activity that we the way we have been. One of the one of the I think the big um, what they tried to use as selling points for regional regionalization was that. Um, you know, some of the smaller regions say ours was, um, you know, it would be less expensive and there are more resources with the, you know, emerging with a larger region that does have um, more money, more um, educational programs or, or whatever. And so that part of it would seem to make sense. I'm not an architect, but that would seem to make some sense. And yet still be able to achieve the small region feeling. Yeah, we don't want to so lose our voice for sure. Julia, go ahead. Yeah, so I think the whole point of, and this discussion is highlighting it is that they haven't made a point. They haven't made an argument and there's not clear why 
there it just is just a thing we think we should do because we think that it might do this or that and we think it may do that it's just there was just the i think that was my point ever since uh coming on the board is i have i don't hear an argument for it i don't there's no you know that i think that's the bottom line we're all grabbing desperately to find out why and why it would work and how it would improve and what it would do but nobody's actually done that investigation and clearly lined it out what it what that is so I, I don't support true. it because it i don't see why it, right. there is and no reason why true. i would and you know i've been around a long time this is this is the third time in my years that i know we've gone through this yeah. effort and it keeps coming back to the same thing no change was required i mean so um yeah I'm not really sure why it keeps getting studied but you guys all hit the nail on the head. I think that DEI was driving it and they were just throwing everything at the wall to try to make DEI better. So yeah, again, yeah. I think as a region, we do a pretty good job. And <clears throat> um, so, all right, well, I'll, I'll give Tom some feedback based on that. That's kind of what he was looking for. So um, unless anybody has anything else, Gina, do you have anything or? Yeah, I do. Um, first of all, I wanna say congratulations to um, the newly licensed and um, we really I wanted to let you know that we also supply a um, certificate for you that we do at AIA it's something we do complimentary that we work with the Department of Consumer Protection and the licensing board they actually though don't go out until January because we wait until the end of the year so um, you'll be receiving something from us on that. And I, if you're not already an AIA member, which I know many of you that are on this call are, uh, but I hope that um, you also consider uh, us as a resource as well um, in your future endeavors. So congratulations. Thanks, Gina. So, anybody have anything else? Mm -hmm. um, if not. Well, I see that. Um, I see that Manny is on. I also see that Sarah is on. I, I mean, she might have been one of the candidates. Yep. You're right, Sarah. She's not one of the candidates. Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, I'm sorry, but could you just tell us who you are? Guess not. No. Manny, did you have she, anything? Um, she's, that's actually, um, this is Ryan here. That my office back in, I'm, I'm away right now, tuning in remotely. That's uh, Studio Q architecture, like signed in from. Okay, from okay. Okay. Thanks Manny, again, did you have anything? Nice. You're welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Manny. Uh, nothing really to report from NCAR. Um, I'll, they just seem to be really cracking down on anyone who's sort of, you know, cheating on the exam or especially people who are taking the, the exam uh, remotely. So so that's that's an ongoing concern. And also uh, they seem to be getting involved with, uh, you know, people who claim to be architects and, and are not architects. So um, other than that, uh, you know, that that's what I'm sort of hearing and, and you know, and all the different chatter that comes out of NCARB. Uh, beyond that, there's there's nothing really new to report. All right, great. Thanks, Mandy. Appreciate it. Anybody have anything else? Okay, uh, no, it, just we we do have a board call. I think on uh, when is it? There's a request for a board uh, call that it? Don sent out, Phil. Yeah. 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 So it's Thursday afternoon. I don't know if anybody. I can't be on it, so I don't know if I anybody can else either. can be on it. Um. If anybody no. can be, that would be great. But um, I, uh, otherwise, we'll just get a report back from them. So that's okay. Thursday and the twenty-first, correct? Correct. Oh, that is yeah, correct. I have it as four thirty. Week from yesterday. Yeah. And then we have no other um, national or local obligations until our November meeting, which is in person. Is that correct? It's in person. Our, our, or our board meeting. Or no. Line. No, no, our licensing, our next licensing board meeting is in person. Oh, the November, yes, okay. reg, yeah, the November regional, I knew you guys were talking about different things. The regional meeting is virtual, which got moved got to November right. from October. Okay, that's so, the way I had it. That's correct. So, okay. All right. Well, well, good. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you. Have Thank a good you, time. everybody. Bye. Wait, oh, Bye. The one more last thing. Hey, Maggie, are you still on? I can am, you, yes. Can you please?
Yeah, can you please can find you? out? I mean, now now this is kind of getting, it's getting to me a little bit, but Leslie O'Brien mm -hmm. again didn't show up. So can you see what you need to do to get her in person? Tell her, make sure she understands it's in person in the in the building that you're in on November 17th. All right. Yeah. Yep. Didn't so, I'm already it's, discussing? It's, it's become principal at this point more than anything. It's just a lack of respect. Yeah, I All right. agree. All right. Ooh, Sean. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Enjoy the weekend, guys. Bye -bye. Thank Bye. you, everyone. Thank you.